MRTs are prepared to conduct mandatory resilience training, but there is much more that they can offer whether they know it or not. One way that you can empower your MRTs, some of your subordinate leaders, to operationalize these concepts is by discussing your expectations with them. Be as specific as possible about what you want to achieve. For example, you might want them to figure out what could be operationalized through hip pocket training the week prior to the M16 range. An MRT may encourage soldiers to focus on some or all of the fundamentals of marksmanship while on the range rather than focusing on shots missed. For example, if or when a soldier misses a target, he or she might have thoughts like, I should have hit that target. Now I'm going to bolo this range. This thought drives frustration that causes the soldier to tense up, potentially contributing to more missed shots. Refocusing on breathing or sight picture changes a soldier's thoughts, and these thoughts may decrease frustration and tension in muscles. This is foundational to MRT, the ATC model that demonstrates that thoughts drive emotions and reactions. If your MRTs are primed to coach their skill sets, it will be beneficial to have them in training meetings as they can provide insight into how to integrate the skills you want your unit to develop and enhance. For instance, your company has a 12-mile ruck march coming up. Your MRT might anticipate thinking traps that soldiers fall into before and during the ruck. Two thoughts might be, I'm never going to finish. Always, always, always. My leaders didn't prepare me for this. Them, them, them. An MRT could do some opportunity training to discuss these and how to take other perspectives, building self-awareness and self-regulation. Afterward, the MRT could provide comments in the AAR to reinforce training principles. Your MRTs may not have the confidence to coach these skills without the PowerPoint in the background. To help guide them, one option would be to bring in a performance expert to demonstrate how to do this and mentor your MRT while supporting your company. Another option is to ask the MRT to reach back to the R2 Training Center to get input from the MRT performance experts. Just as it is important for the MRTs to know their limits, you should know their limits. It would be unwise to place your MRTs in circumstances that are more complex than they are trained to handle. Always consult your MRT and apply your own professional judgment in situations that may warrant a greater specialization.